What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, but today we're loaded up. See, we got the packs. We got the elk calls, the bows, everything that we need. Me and Elise for heading to Colorado, do a little elk hunting. First time ever elk hunting in Colorado, and uh, it's gonna be a blast. I can't wait to get up there. Got a 13 and a half hour, 14 hour drive, something like that. So uh, stay tuned. We're gonna get up in the mountains, and it's gonna be a blast. Elise, you ready? I'm ready. We're All gonna right. get us a bull. My tag's good for a cow too, so we might be shooting <laughs> a cow. So stay tuned, we're bringing meat home. plan didn't go as planned and uh, we're just gonna chill out we're tired as hell so we're gonna chill out here we pitched our pitched our little tent burned some weenies and uh, tomorrow we're gonna be feeling fresh and we're gonna find us some elk but this spot right here is loaded with people so I don't know if there's any elk here if there is they're a long ways off and just gotta figure out how to find them so stay tuned tomorrow so what we're gonna do we're gonna get up early and hit it hard we're tired as hell. Oh yeah, we burned some weenies on the Camp Chef Rainer Mountain Series. She's kind of nasty, but nice and seasoned. Good morning, everybody. Today, we're about to hike up this trail. We were going to do it yesterday, and we were just flat out worn out from driving and tired. So we just... Creeper drove up behind us. Oh yeah, a Creeper drove up. We're about to hike up. Is it y'all hiking? I guess what you have to deal with up here in Colorado, a bunch of hikers, so... We're gonna hike up here with all these hikers and hopefully get away from where they're going. Hopefully they're staying on the trail. We're gonna try to get off the trail and just look for sign. Plan on camping up there. It's about a two mile hike, zigzagging up this hill. And then once you get up there, should flatten off pretty good. There's big park areas scattered throughout the woods. So looks good on a map. So uh, we'll see when we get there. I don't know. It'll take us two hours, probably, I mean, two miles, probably take us a good hour. I don't know how steep it is. We're gonna find out. Hopefully the elk are up that hill. The elk are exactly where you find them. That's all I can say. Alright fam, well, we made it to the top, that big plateau up here, and it is flat, and I like it. We sit down on this log right here to have a little lunch, a little tuna, tomato basil, great value, and it is disgusting. Definitely try what you bring, try before you bring, that's all I'm trying to say. At least I had plain tuna, and uh, I just hope I didn't pack in my bag. Three more flavors of these. <laughs> these gross. We went four miles and it's taken us four hours. Exactly. <laughs> mile, and mile, mile an hour. We're probably gonna wake up, make our way to this big meadow. Probably camp on the outskirts of it and just look for sign. Start hunting. I just wanna hear a bugle so bad, so. Stay tuned. We're in the woods when we found the sign. The elk tracks everywhere and they are fresh. Now we just gotta find the elk because they are exactly where you find them. Cheers. <coughs> Nasty. Bedding area. It's all bedding. It's all broke open. We are in the elk. It's a big old bedding area right here. And bears. There's a bunch of rolled over logs and stuff. They might break out the call.
and I bugled, and Elise saw him, like, come this way, and, uh, we don't know if he walked off, or we scared him off, or what, but I bet he's not far, pretty awesome, hey, we called in our first elk, that's awesome, my heart was racing, I couldn't see through my rangefinder, I was, Hopefully he's still alive and uh, wants to get shot. Well, this is camp tonight. Right here in this big meadow behind me. There's another small meadow right here behind, in front of us. We are beat. Probably should be hunting. But we're going to get ready for bed. Eat some dinner. Just relax. We are beat. We hiked that mountain. I think it was 2,000 vertical feet of elevation. It took us four hours to get up it. Tomorrow, elk's gonna die. We got a long ways to take it out, pack it out. It'll be fun. What are you having? Creamy macaroni? I'm having biscuits and gravy. I heard it's the best mountain house, so we'll let you know here in a minute. What do y'all think? Should we uh, throw a bear bag or a dry bag up in a tree for bears? Or should we just glock them if they come in? I'm thinking glock them. Just black bears. Glock them. <laughs> if you're out here in the back country, no cutting bring a set of crocs it is so nice to take them boots off and those socks off put some different shoes on that you haven't worn all day long and just lounge around in freaking nice how's yours interesting nice and how didn't they so <laughs> hard let's, let's give mine let's give mine a go just stirred it texture it says on the package use one and a half cups if you like your gravy thicker so that's what I did cheers pretty good the biscuits kind of taste like a crouton <laughs> but they're good and dry mine all right mountain house biscuits and gravy big thumbs up pretty good um, don't haven't tried any other, so I can't say it's my favorite. So pretty good. I'd get it again. Did you get that one again? If I had to. <laughs> if she had to. Hopefully that bear don't come check out our camp tonight because he will get glocked. I have 17 rounds in that Glock, and every one of them bullets will be in that bear. I promise you. <laughs>
Do you have an extra clip? Nope. <laughs> Maybe I'll save half of it. Maybe I'll say shoot half of it with the bear. Whatever it takes to take the bear down. Alright. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. As you can see, we're up this morning. It's probably about 8.50, and uh, we're going to leave the tent here, and we're going to come back about 12, or a little later than 12, maybe. What we're going to do, we're going to hunt this whole area for a few hours, and uh, see what we can do. Last night, as soon as we went to bed, probably an hour in, Elise woke me up, she heard something. An elk, big bull, you can definitely tell it's big. Right here beside us. I opened up the tent, shot my light, and he just bolted. Took off, run into the woods, crashing. You can hear his horn just breaking everything. Definitely sound like a big old bull. We're gonna get in there and kill him. Feeling good. I feel like today is the day. Well, this morning we got up and uh, did a little loop. See if we couldn't find an elk. Didn't get on anything, didn't hear anything. Did some calling. Nothing responded or came in. So we decided to make that loop after our loop finished. We decided to come back to camp. Have us a little lunch, a little buffalo style tuna. Best one they make. At least have little ramen noodles. And uh, <clears throat> what we're gonna do, we're probably gonna pack up all of our camp. We decided and then uh, walk out this meadow, walk along the edge of the woods. There's a big old block of timber right here. And we think the elk will be bedding in. So we're gonna walk out in the open skirt the edge there's some water over there fill up the water bottles hunt that timber and then the very end of the timber I don't know about 600 yards probably there's the trailhead or the not the trailhead but the trail where it comes through and if we don't get anything by then we'll probably just jump on the trail hike down go to the truck and then either sleep by the truck tonight or drive to a new unit and uh, find something else but uh, pretty good spot. Elk are where you find them. And uh, hopefully we find them here in a little bit. Well guys, we're heading back. Gonna make that loop like I was talking about, back to the trail. And uh, we get over there and we can see an orange guy over there muzzleloader hunting. So I just, we just backed up. I didn't want to bother him. And uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go this way now. Go straight and there's another trail pretty ways down here we're gonna hit that trail and call back up it in these woods so, let's see what happens straight up the hill is the trail that we came in on there's another trail right here I think about walking straight up just find our way to this brush and uh, just call it on the way we just tried to call it we heard something but we don't know if it was something running away Well, we made it down to the truck and we couldn't be happier. We literally just descended 2,000 feet and in a matter of an hour and 30 minutes. And it took us four hours to get up it yesterday. But it was a good time. We saw an elk, called one in, bunch of sign up there. Yes, we left sign to find a new sign because we realized how stupid it was to shoot one up there and then take it down, go back up, take it down, cup it up. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go find a new spot and we did talk to a local, and he said there's a road that goes to the top. So we might do that, because we know there's a sign there. Or we might go to this other unit I had picked out and check it out. Only the second day here, so we get the rest of the week. Stay tuned, should be fun. We're still going to kill that elk, I guarantee you. Well, good morning, everybody. 
It's about 7.50. Sun's up early this morning, and uh, so are we. Well, we're a little late, I guess, but taking our time. We're gonna hike up this hill this morning, right here behind the tent and the truck. And uh, there's a big patch of timber up there. Kind of goes up on this ridge top. We're gonna walk that ridge top and just call for elk and look for sign. See what we come up with. This morning we had a couple of mule deer. Four of them right over here beside us. The deer are here. Hopefully the elk are. I don't know. We talked to a guy and uh, he recommended this spot to us. So we're going to go with it. Seems like a pretty nice guy. Pretty trustworthy. We're going to give her hell and uh, see what we can do. Coffee this morning. What's up everybody? Well, we're leaving early this morning. We've been driving so far, but uh, we had to leave due to a family emergency. Didn't kill an elk, but we found the elk and we know where to go next time. Called it an elk, seen an elk, heard an elk. It's pretty much all I wanted besides killing elk and uh, couldn't ask for anything better. Had a fun time in the woods with my girlfriend and uh, it's a beautiful country. But I'm coming back in three weeks, four weeks for second rifle season because my brother's got a tag. I'm gonna tag along and video him, shoot him a bull. So uh, stay tuned for that video and it uh, should be a fun time. It's gonna be a little colder, October, second season. Hopefully there's no snow, but there's gonna be snow I imagine. So can't wait to get back in the woods and hunt some more elk. So thanks for watching this video and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Oh yeah, we had to stop at Kane's on the way because Kane's chicken is the best ever. You can kick Chick-fil-A out the window.